Hey, what's going on, everybody? So today we're going to be talking about a film that is brought to you by actor, director, and writer James Darcy. Uh, you may have seen him recently in Dunker, uh, but some of the other notable things, such as uh, his role as Jarvis in the Avenger movies and Agent Carter. And this film is made in Italy. And I've been really excited to uh, review this film because uh, just by assumption of the title, I knew that this film potentially could talk about the Italian culture, something I've just been really keen to um, all of my life and their traditions and just uh, the landscapes of Italy, uh, the food, obviously. And nonetheless, after reviewing this film, absolutely tackle each and every moment of that uh, with an amazing story, amazing acting, uh, very emotionally driven um, and really some good life life lessons in this. And some things really touched me really personal. And I just really thoroughly um, enjoyed this film. So it's an amazing film. You definitely want to check this out. So Made in Italy will be available August 7 digitally um, on all your digital platforms. And uh, what this film is about. So Jack Foster, who's paid by Michael Richardson. Uh, he's soon to be divorced. I mean, he's just a signature way to be divorced. And his uh, soon-to-be ex-wife, uh, they have an art gallery together. And she's like, hey, we're done, and so is this. And, you know, Jack is, like, very adamant about how much the art gallery means. So it's all he has. And he says, look, I'll buy this from your parents because it is it's their parents. It's the parents' art gallery that they manage. He said, I'll buy it from them. And she's like, okay, whatever, you have a month. So he comes up with this idea of like, hey, maybe I can talk to my dad, uh, her dad, Robert, who's played by Liam Neeson, and maybe we can sell our old family property. Uh, since then, uh, you know, Robert has moved to London. Uh, so, you know, Jack does a quick road trip to London, picks up his dad, and they go by wayside of Italy and not to mention like I talked about the 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 scenery and the landscapes the beautiful Tuscany uh, region of Italy is just something I, I I hope one day I can experience in person but from you know research and just obviously this film uh, it's such a beautiful place that I hope to be able to visit but being able to see the shots of it is really good but so this you know father son relationship is non-existent there's no relationship at all um and you know they really struggle with some things in the past and the big people to think is that um the loss of the mother and and wife respective and because of this it's really drawn the family apart um uh, you know jack is dealing with some abandonment issues because he feel like he lost his childhood and Robert, who is an artist, has just lost his ways. He's lost the will to want to uh, paint. Uh, he really blames himself for the incident. And he's really given up uh, everything because he's so passionate about art. And he, you know, even with him not having a relationship with his son, his son just was always motivated to be how confident his dad was. And, you know, and he admitted himself, you know, he just doesn't know how to grieve. And he's just lost he gave up on life because of this so you know and it's it completely you know ruined the relationship between the two of them and not to mention it also made you know uh robert made some questionable decisions that ultimately kind of hindered uh jack's childhood so there's, there's a lot that comes out of this whole grieving process and not really know how to deal with the grieving uh, because of the loss of uh, of his wife, and which was a very tragic car accident, as they said. And, and and you know what? Long story short, they're just dealing with grief. They're not knowing how to really process the loss and the grieving process, as it's even stated in the movie. Like you know, and I think there's such an important thing about how some people just don't know how to grieve. Um, so this was really um, a really come to life thing for them. But nonetheless, so the two of them do go to Italy. And they go to the property, and the property is just in turmoil. So they decide to fix it up, and then put it on a market and sale. You know, take his share of it, and then once he takes his share, you can buy the art gallery. So that's you know that's pretty much the the story of it. Uh, but uh, it's 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 a lot of good things that's happening here because as much as their both of their lives are really torn apart, 
the rebuilding and remodeling of this property is very synonymous with what their relationship with each other. You see the father son uh, really understand what's the take to be a son, what's the take to be a father and having that relationship and everything. Um, dealing with the grieving process of losing um, the mom and wife and uh, really finding, you know, a lot about each other. Not to mention Jack, who, you know, has never been back to his roots. So going back to Italy, he's found so much about himself. Uh, and this is the beautiful display of the Italian culture. Um, if you know anything about the Italian culture, you know, it's very uh, family oriented and very, very family centric. So they go back into town. They're instantly um, they're instantly taken back. And once they forgot their bloodlines, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, your your family. And it's, it's just really beautiful to, to see. Um, nonetheless, it's not an Italian movie without Italian food, wine and some music. And all of that was really I, I was. I was hungry watching the film and I was just like, I wish, <laughs> but it was really done well, very authentic and appreciative. There was really one really good scene uh, when you're talking about family in a restaurant where um, uh, a character was kind of being badgered and the, the whole restaurant stopped and show a protection and support of, uh, of this young lady. And I think it truly speaks to the Thai culture, as I've seen, you know, everything's very, very family oriented. And, that, you know, if you mess with one, you mess with all. And I really did thoroughly appreciate that. Uh, but I think, you know, the cinematography was amazing. Again, the landscapes and views of, uh, of, 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 of Tuscany was just so beautiful, so beautiful. Um, there's definitely some funny moments in this film, but overall keeps a very subtle tone, very subtle and humbling because this 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 film really was um, about the grieving process and being able to heal and move on from the grieving process as well as building um, a relationship and this the ability to regain the confidence to stand back on your own two feet and to move on with life. So there's some really strong messages in here and it's just so moving, moving. and then the performances was just so well done i was just blown away um very emotional uh but very strong and just it's moving so overall i i i love this film um it was everything i thought it would be plus more it it, it you know beyond just the food because i love the foodie every everything that that comes together to put together this project was really well done amazing acting uh, amazing visuals, uh, good good script. Uh, th the cast up and down, besides just the leads, were really well done. Uh, were, were really well, and they really done a good job together. Very um, the continuity between characters and the relationship all just came off really authentic and everything. Um, so, but definitely you want to check this out. Made in Italy is available August seven on all digital platforms. Absolutely, if you check this out, let me know in the comments what you think. And as always, stay tuned because more reviews are coming to you very soon. Peace out, y'all.